And here comes northbound. Here in Bristol. He'll probably pick that cut up in the yard. He's coming in on the track line. Yeah, he'll definitely pick up that cut on track three down there. There's a Cadillac strainer. Brand new vehicles in there. See the crew get off. Let's see. He should be getting off. I can't tell. Yep, he's definitely going to go in the yard and do some work. He's not going to be that long of a train. Let's look up there again and see. Oh, he's getting out and probably hitting that second switch to go into the track four or five. See if we can show you the vehicles in here. You see them a little bit. See the brake piston sticking out. So the brakes are on right now. That's the only time I'll ever cross a coupler if that piston's sticking out. Because I know the brakes are set. Oh, is that the superintendent? One crew guy, two crew guys, and the guy without, oh, he traded the vest, I guess. Put a fresh crew on. Yeah, he's finally moving. He's been sitting here for about 25 minutes. Sound like somebody whistling. Downtown Bristol. And there's a jail right there. So you don't got to go far. If you get caught here and it's a bad bull. Uh, I 
can't wait to be able to show you guys how to get up and in and ride in one of them empties when they are empty. Yep, he's going down in the yard and they're gonna work some cars on the front end and add some and take some off. Saturn V rocket. Well, that's that newer BNSF red color. Yeah, and when you're riding in there, no one can see you in there. Even though they got the little holes inside. It's not very windy at all in there when you're doing 50 miles an hour. Here's them wheels. Shelling a little bit. One long grainer in the middle. There's a lip grainer, two of them. CP rail. Empty box car there. Empty lumber rack. Empty box car there too. Looks like two by fours. Coil car, put big rolls of steel in them. Another lip grainer, plug door, another plug door. Here's some DPUs coming. Yeah, he's going to Harrisburg with that train. 
He'll go through Hagerstown. He'll do a crew change up in Roanoke. In Hagerstown. Then Hagerstown to Harrisburg. slowing down he's almost at the other end of the yard where he's gonna pick up and drop off some cars there's a big insulated box car there reefer that reefer's going too so he's got something refrigerated in there lip grainer Another reefer. Call them ugly ducklings too because they they stand out different. Yeah, that's going to Harrisburg. All this tail end. Yeah, he'd be in Hagerstown around noon tomorrow. Yeah. Cause he'll stop in uh, Roanoke for about an hour or two. Then they'll crew change in uh, Hagerstown and then go on to Harrisburg. I usually don't see a setup like that with one engine on the front and then two DPUs. Usually it's two lead locomotives and one DPU. I don't know if there is on here. This is definitely going all the way to Harrisburg. It was loaded with cars. We can see the cylinders like that. Yeah. Yeah, you can look in on the stickers on the window on those cars in there and it'll tell where that cars are being shipped the dealership name anyway on that sticker that's got the miles per gallon and stuff on it. he's got to stop and work them truck cars God, I wish I'd have brought my pack. Ah. If I'd have been down under Ash Street, where that over, next overpass is, that's about where them DPUs would have been. Yeah. Take my key and... Oh, that must be the end of it. I see the cars crossing now. Loaded coal, coal or gravel. Yeah, he's almost at the other end of the yard. Get that local ready. Mark
truck went in that caboose one day that we were up here. He went in there and he made his own part of his video. I'm just surprised he's trying to say anything. Like I, I can't get I can't get arrested because I have to call work. <laughs> well he was sitting down here. Yeah. Right about in here. Yeah. He's got a stick with him. I think it's that pin puller stick. Pull them reservoir pins with. Yeah, I didn't see anybody get on the engine and uh, they were a while ago they made a couple of trips to the engine. And the last guy went back with two bags at least. Is that what he had? Yeah. Oh, they're getting ready to do some work then. Wave it. Release of the handbrake. I don't know if that's that same caboose, is it? Club, uh, club layout, you have to have a caboose. No, but you mean the same one that you got on? I yeah. The same one. It was all dirty, nasty looking like that. I can't remember the number now. Yeah, while well, they call them crummy. Yeah. So, one time I was over at, at taking a picture of the Norfolk Southern over by that King's Ford, that East End. Mm -hmm. And they sit on the other side, the Norfolk Southern with the caboose. Yeah, over on the, yeah, in front of the east one, yeah. Yeah, hey, making a move back. That's so he can come back down this track here. hit that switch. Yeah, he'll hit that switch and back up some more. Keys out to unlock it. Somehow, I know they got the dead man switches in there, but yeah. at least if you got another guy in there, he can perform CPR or something. Yeah. They'd get arrested for for uh, in an area where yeah. they can get flip the and switch. Then you cut it yeah. Well, there there was one on strike, you know, a lot. Yeah. I saw that. They got a 30 day clean voluntary or whatever and they kind of hash things out. If they don't work, then they can, if they want, they can go on strike. Right. The last time they went on strike, they said they need a billion dollars a day in merchant work. Right. Yeah. Three days they went on strike and old man Bush. You can tell them tankers have fluid in them, but backing up, back and forth, back and forth.
reverse axle switcher there. Now he'll come back down on rail two. Switch it back and come forward. There's another guy sitting out in the weeds, it looks like. Oh, I don't know what that is. Later guys.